Hi guys! So today I thought we'd get started on Edinburgh and Scotland stories and start with why Edinburgh got the name Auld Reekie. Now how does a city as beautiful as Edinburgh get the nickname Auld Reekie? Well we've got to go back to around about the 16th or 17th century for that. Now you have to remember around about then Edinburgh was a lot smaller than it is now. It was really just the top half, three quarters of the Royal Mile, the grass market, the cow gate, and there was a big wall all round about it. Obviously as well, the Norlock was there, which was Edinburgh's main source of drinking water, as well as where the sewage ran, and the bottom half of the Royal Mile, Holyrood Palace was there as well, but it wasn't within the city limits, or at least it wasn't within the walls of Edinburgh. Now, whenever the city got bigger in population, they weren't able, or weren't willing really, to build out past the walls. So they built up. So all the buildings, all the tenement buildings, they would get taller and taller and taller. And the sewage would just be poured out of people's window and roll down the streets. Now at the time, when you poured your sewage or household waste out of the building, you would shout a phrase called Gardy Lou. Now, it's kind of a weird spin-off of a French saying, but it's generally, you know, look out, here comes the loo. So that would be poured out the window and then it would just start to roll down the streets and everyone's muck was just on the Royal Mile really, heading down the Royal Mile. And um, it would eventually start to pour into the Nor Lock as well. Now remember, this is people's drinking water as well, so lovely. On a side note with the whole Gardy Lou thing, in case you were under it, you would shout back, hold your hand, meaning hold off, uh, so that you wouldn't get a big pile of poo poured on top of you. So, all the buildings are really tall. All the streets are really small, hence all the little closes that were shooting off the Royal Mile at the time as well. Inside all these tenement buildings, or inside all these houses, there would be a fireplace. So they were all burning a fire for heat. All this smoke out of every building was just billowing out. So this is an intensely small cramped space with all of these houses just billowing out smoke upon smoke upon smoke, sewage getting poured out the window, rolling down the streets, heading down towards Norlock. And because of all this smoke just billowing out, it got it the name Old Ricky. That kind of translates from Old Scots into Old Smoky. But the funny thing is now, if you say the word Ricky or Reeking here in Scotland, that means smelly. So it kind of sort of went a full circle there a little bit. After that, when the city started to expand a little bit, although, you know, the population started to spread out and the smoke wasn't intense and obviously sewage was maybe introduced, but there used to be loads, and I mean loads, of breweries round about in Edinburgh. So for a long time, all the smoke and uh, hops and barley from all of them was spreading around the smell of the town as well. For example, there used to be a brewery right at the bottom of the Royal Mile, literally opposite Holyrood Palace. Um, you can kind of see a little bit of that building now. Dynamic Earth, the tourist attraction, which is the Earth Science Centre, right at the bottom, it's got an outside wall with turrets on it. That is part of the old brewery. And the reason that it's got turrets on it, because a brewery doesn't really need turrets, is because they had to get permission from Queen Victoria to build that brewery there. And she said, yes, you can have it, but it can't look like a brewery, it has to look something else. It has to look like it fits in the landscape. So they built this outer wall around the brewery with turrets so it would fit in. Getting back to the Old Reeky sort of name of Edinburgh, just to show you how affectionately the citizens of Edinburgh took to the name, here's a poem written by Robert Ferguson in the 1700s called Old Reeky. And because you'll probably have no idea what I'm saying, I'll give you a little translation at the end. And for anyone who speaks Old Scots, if any of my pronunciations are wrong, I apologise in advance. Old Reeky, while welka toon, that Scotland kens beneath the moon, where couthy chills at ear and meat, their bizzen crags and moans to wheat, and blithely gar old car gae by, wi blinket and wi bleerin eye. And just so you've got a clue about what I'm going on about, this is kind of how it translates. Old Ricky, best choice of every two, that Scotland knows beneath the moon, where friendly lads at evening meet, their dry throats and mouth to wheat. And happily bid all cares goodbye with blinking 
and with a bleary eye. That's only the first verse of that poem, but hopefully it shows you that it shows that the people of Edinburgh embraced its reputation no matter what it was. But, hope you enjoyed this video today guys, sorry I couldn't get into town, but I thought you'd enjoy maybe just a little bit of history about Edinburgh anyway. Till next time, bye humans. Thank you.